lovely people and welcome back to Yoga with Kate. I hope you're all fit and well. Namaste to you all. Today's class is going to be yoga for circulation. So we'll improve your blood flow. It'll be a short series of exercises you can do, especially be good for the winter time and especially if you suffer from cold hands and cold feet. Right, without further ado, let's get started. In today's class, we're going to be started off sitting down to so make yourself comfortable, however that may be. We're going to start off with our shoulders first. So we're just going to release our shoulders. We're going to roll them up, back and down. When we're cold and we're tense, we always hold tension in our shoulders and we need to release those. So we're just doing a few rolls. So up, back and down, up, back and down. A couple more, up, back and down. And last one up, back and down. So we're going to start off with our hands. Now you're going to clasp your hands and we're simply doing a circular motion from our wrist. So you can put the elbows together and we're just rolling those hands one way. So I'm going around to the right in a clockwise direction. And then we're going to roll the hands the other way. So keep rolling around. Well done. Once we're here, we're going to just shake out those hands. Shake out those hands, make sure your shoulders are relaxed whilst you're doing this, and release. Now, we're going to take the hands in front of us. Now here we're gonna start by really clasping our hands and making sure you be able to see those knuckles. And then we're gonna release and then spread those fingers out as much as you can. The hands are coming to back towards you slightly. So just staying there. And then we're gonna clasp those hands again. So keep them really clenched nice and tight. And then we're going to open those fingers again. So really stretch those fingertips out. You should feel the blood circulating through those fingers now a little bit more. One more of these, so really clench the hands. And then one more stretch of those fingertips. And release, well done. This is a whole body circulation workout. So we're going to come up to standing. So we're going to take our feet slightly wider than hip distance apart, feet parallel facing forward, and we're just going to hold onto those elbows and we're simply dropping forward and down, forward and down. Now in this posture, head and neck is nice and relaxed. Give your head and neck a little gentle shake from side to side. Now with this posture, we're still going to work it a little bit. We're going to shift our weight forward onto the toes. Now really push your bottom tailbone up towards the ceiling. You feel a deep stretch down the backs of those buttocks and those hamstrings starting to warm those legs up. Just staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let your hands drop down to the mat, head hanging, arms hanging. Put your tummy in and we're just uncurling. So up we come. And once we're up to standing, we're going to give our shoulders a lovely roll. Back and down. Now from here, we're going to go into our lovely trick and arsenal. So we're going to pivot our right foot out to the right, heel back on the left foot, and we want our tummy back to centre. We're raising those arms to shoulder level, palms are facing towards the floor, and then we're simply dropping the right arm down and the left arm up. Now you're reaching into those fingertips. Try not to lean too much on this right leg. Staying there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, and up we come. Now we're going to keep those arms raised if you can. We're pivoting around to the other side now. Yet again, bring your tummy back to center and we're bringing the left arm down and the right arm up, looking up to those fingertips if you can, stretching up towards the ceiling for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Up we come again, arms to shoulder level, pivoting those feet around once more. Yet again, take your tummy hips back to center. This time we're bringing the right arm down and this time imagine your ears cold and you're gently resting that arm over your ear, looking up towards the ceiling for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One more done, up we come, a couple more to go. So pivot those feet around once more, hips back to center, bring the left arm down and the right arm drops over your ear, looking up to the ceiling, for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Up we come, keep those arms raised. Should be starting to warm up now for that blood circulating round. And we're going to walk our toes out a little bit further this time. 
We're going to bend our right knee. That's important. You can always see your toes when your knee is bent. We're resting our right elbow on the right thigh and then we're dropping the left arm over the top, looking up to the ceiling, sink down in those hips for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, pull your tummy in and up we come. Keep those arms raised. So other side now, so dropping down on the left knee, hip down towards the floor, right arm over the top, looking up over your right shoulder. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, up you come, well done. Okay, from here, we're going to go into our lovely chair pose. Fantastic for warming up those extremities, like the fingers and toes. So we're starting off hip distance apart with those feet. We're raising those arms up to shoulder level. Now, nice and simple, we're bending the knees out in front, bottom out behind, chin out in front. Now, if you wish for more here, you can extend the toes up towards the ceiling and really push into the outside edge of those heels. You feel your glutes working a little bit more. Relax those shoulders. We're staying a bit here a bit longer than we normally would. Nice, deep breaths. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, up you come, keep those arms raised. Now look at the floor, working on our toes a little bit more now. So we're going to come up onto those toes. We're bending the knees just halfway down to wherever you're comfortable. Try and keep your back straight, coming right up onto the toes, pull your tummy in tight. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, up we come, heels down, arms raised. Walking those feet in together now, big toes are touching. So look at the floor once more, we're coming up onto the toes. This time, we're going to squeeze our knees and thighs together for support as we come all the way down. Now, you can stay here if you wish. You're still getting ample work going on in those feet and those toes. If you wish a little bit more, you're lifting your bottom a couple of inches off those heels and then coming right up on those toes. Staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, pull your tummy in, up we come, and lower down those arms. Warrior two, Virabhadrasana two is fantastic for circulation. So we're going to take the right foot out to the right, heel back on that left foot, and we're going to bend that right knee. Now yet again, we want our hips facing towards the front, so you feel a nice stretch going on in those abdominal muscles. Raising the right arm up in front, left arm behind, and yet again, do a toe check. You should always be able to see those toes with your knee bent. So really reach into those fingers. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Straighten that right leg, pivot around, walk those toes out a little bit further. If you need to, do a toe check. Left arm out in front, so squash your feet into your mat. Make sure those legs are working, staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more done. Raise those arms up and come on down. So we're going to take our legs into a nice wide stance here. We're going to come up onto the toes, knees are slightly out to the side and we're raising the arms up, staying there for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, up we come, and lower down those arms. We're going to do a couple of rounds of sun salutation, fantastic for improving that blood flow circulation. So we're gonna start off at the front of the mat, feet into dasana, hip distance apart, we're going to give our shoulders a lovely roll, back and down. Tucking our tailbone under slightly so our pelvis is in neutral, and we're going to close our eyes there for a second. We're going to take the toes up towards ceiling, a little bit more yoga for the toes. It engages that core. And then plant them back down, taking a nice big inhale. Exhale into prayer, open your eyes. Namaste, everybody. Inhaling the arms up, look up. Exhaling forward and down to a standing full bend. Inhaling the right leg back, retain your breath, take the other leg back into plank. Coming down knees or chaturanga for five, four, three, two, one, inhale into cobra, dog. Exhale, back into down dog. So walk out those feet down, we're facing dog, it's fantastic for improving your circulation. 
walk out those feet, head and neck nice and relaxed. As always in downward facing dog, make sure the weight is evenly distributed through your palms and those fingers. Head and neck nice and relaxed, you feel a nice pull on your tummy there as well. So looking forward, inhaling that right foot all the way through in between the hands. Exhale the other leg through to a standing forward bend. Inhaling the arms up, look up. Exhaling, arms by your side, inhaling. Exhaling, into prayer. Inhaling the arms up, look up. Exhaling forward and down to a standing full bend. Inhaling the left leg back, retain your breath, take the other leg back into plank. Coming down knees or chaturanga for five, four, three, two, one. Inhaling to cobra or up dog. Exhale, back into down dog, head and neck. Gentle shake from side to side. Okay, we're going to go into our lovely resting pigeon. So we're going to swing the right leg through under the left, right leg through under the left, right knee to the right outside edge of your mat to calf diagonally down. So the right heel is approximately where your left hip bone is. Arms out in front, forehead resting on your hands or your mat. Let's take a nice few deep breaths here. Should be feeling that lovely stretch in your right glute buttock. It's fantastic for your piriformis glute and sciatic nerves. Should be warming up that hip area lovely for you. Okay, so we're just going to push ourselves up. We're pushing ourselves back up into a walking down dog, walking out those feet, head, neck, nice and relaxed. And you guessed it, other side, swinging the left leg through under the right, left leg through under the right. So left knee to the left outside edge of your mat, calf diagonally down. So that left hip is where your right hip bone is approximately. Arms out in front, forehead resting on your hands, on your mat. So yet again, this time it's a left buttock. You feel a lovely stretch going on there in that left hip. Nice deep breaths. Last few breaths. Okay, so we're pushing ourselves back up into a walking down dog again. Walking out those feet, neck nice and relaxed. And when you're ready, looking forward, stepping or jumping into cross-legged on your mat. So we're going to be lying down now. You're going to like this one. We're going to pop our legs up the wall, whatever you're close to that you can lean upon. Don't have to have your bottom completely flat against the wall on the mat. You can place your hands on your tummy and you're just going to stay there. It's fantastic to let the blood flow out of those legs and let gravity do the work for you. So just staying there. Last few breaths. Okay, pull your tummy in, tip those legs back down to the mat. We're going to lie down on our mat now. We're pulling those heels as close into the buttocks as possible. Knees pointing up as towards the ceiling. Now we're simply dropping those knees to the left hand side. Pop your right arm out to the right. You're looking down the right arm and just rest this left hand wherever is comfortable for you. Staying there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, we're gently taking those knees back up to center, then dropping them over to the right hand side, left arm out to the left, looking down the left arm, try and get your left shoulder blade on the mat. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one more done, bring the knees back up to center, we're taking the knees into the chest for a little hug and just gently rocking from side to side to give those kidneys a final little massage. And in your own time, there's no rush. Either push yourself onto your side and up to seated or rock yourself forward with those abs up to seated on your mat. 
So thank you very much for joining me for Yoga for Circulation today. I hope you're feeling warmer. Please drop me a comment down below and let me know how you felt after class. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, if you could subscribe to my channel, it would be greatly appreciated. I look forward to seeing you all soon. Take care of yourselves. Om Shanti, which is peace.